If you're posting content online, it might be worth adding a watermark of your logo or username to your videos. And whether you're just a content creator or you are a business trying to market your product on Instagram, Twitter, or other social media platforms, a lot of content in social media is ripped from the original creators, reposted, and then the original creator never gets any credit. You can see this by looking at things like the Instagram Explore page or also on TikTok. A ton of videos are re-uploaded and you can see that the ones that don't have a watermark, you really have no way to find out who they were. And so adding a watermark to your video of your logo or username can be a great way to market yourself even if someone does decide to take your content and reuse it somewhere else. Or it can simply be a great branding opportunity if your videos do go viral and people will have eyes on your logo or username so they're less likely to forget. And doing this is really easy using our free online video editor Kapwing and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Okay, hi guys. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is click the first link in the description. It'll take you to kapwing.com and you can just sign in. It is free and it'll just make it so that when you export the video, it doesn't have the kapwing watermark because you're gonna want your own watermark, not ours. So in your workspace, you will create new content and then you'll upload the video that you are meaning to post somewhere. So I'm just going to upload. So I'm just going to drag in um, a little video. I'm going to pretend that I'm like a tech channel on YouTube. Um, so I have this video of my camera, right? Now there's a couple of things that you can do here. So number one, if you do have a logo, um, then you can go ahead and upload that as well. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to use the Kapwing logo. So I'm just going to drag in the logo on top and then it'll place. Um, but you can see that it does not place throughout the whole video. So let's say that I want to make this throughout the entire video because, you know, you want the watermark to be seen throughout. And you're going to drag it all the way to the ends, the beginning and the end, just by clicking on the ends and dragging them down. Then you can see that it's actually going to fit to the size of the screen. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm just going to want to click this layer of the logo um, and then I'm going to click the lock ratio button and this will make it so that when I transform and drag things around that it keeps the same ratio. Um, so I'm just going to click that and then I can drag this down um, to be whatever size I want and I can put it up here. I can change the size and all of that goodness. Now, I also recognize that a lot of you might not actually have a logo for your business or just for yourself. Um, and a good second option is to just add a piece of text with your username. Uh, I see people do this all the time and I do think that it is helpful. So what you can do is on the left side here, you can go to the text button and then you can click the following text. So you can um, click to add to the canvas and then you can also use these other options we have here, which split it up into fonts and stuff ahead of time, but you also can do that later. So I'm just going to add the default text. And then once again, you can see that it adds but it doesn't add through the whole thing. So I'm just going to drag this to the beginning and to the end. And then I can go ahead and customize this text as well. I can use different fonts that we have here. Um, we have quite a few. I'll just try out this one. I think that looks nice. You can change the size. You can make it italic. You can make it bold. You can also change the color down here. And I think I like the white. So I'll just go ahead and click the white. You can also add a background to the text like so. Um, if you really want to make it stand out and you can even make the corners rounded to make it look more like a logo. So if you want it to be solid like this, then you can just go ahead and click the export video button. However, a lot of watermarks are semi-transparent. Um, so I'm going to show you how you guys can make these transparent as well. So with text, we'll do text first. You can just click on it and then they make it super easy. It's just down here at the bottom and you can change the opacity this way. So I'm going to bring it down to like 30% and now you can see that the text is semi-transparent. Um, so people can definitely see it, but it's not, it's not distracting from the video. You can also do this using logos that you have uploaded yourself with PNG files. Um, however, it's a little bit different. So you're just going to click this and then you're going to want to click the adjust button under the edit tab, um, just right here under image, click adjust. And then there's going to be the opacity slider, which you can slide down this way. Um, and then you can give it a shot like so. And when you're finished, you can just click done adjusting 
And now you can see that the logo is transparent as well, semi-transparent. Um, and I think it looks a lot nicer. It's a lot more low key. It'll add to the branding of it, but it does not distract from the actual video itself, which I think is really ideal. Something that I also notice sometimes people do is they actually make the watermark bounce around between the corners. Can't just like crop out that portion of the video. Um, and then repost. If it bounces around, then they have to keep all of it. So you can do that by just using the split button, which is right here um, on the screen, or you can use the S button on your keyboard, split there, also split again at around 20 seconds. Just highlight the image and then click split or the S button. And then on each one, you can change where each one is. So I will start with it right there. In the second one, I will move it down to this corner over here. Um, and then in the last one, I will move it up over here. And so now when you skip through the video, you can see that it starts off in the top right corner. Now it's in the bottom left corner, and then it's in the top left corner. And so now you can't just crop out the watermark. When you're done, you can go ahead and click the export video button in the top right corner. So now our video is done processing. You can just go ahead and click the download button, and then you're ready to post. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators. Also check out our Discord so you can keep up with other Kapwingers and the Kapwing staff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.